Hello, my name is Dr. Tamika Scott and I am the founder of Equity Minded Consulting and it is such a pleasure to get the opportunity to share with you all my um, women's history um, spotlight. So who I want to spotlight is Patricia Hill Collins. She is an amazing theorist um, who created Black Feminist Thought. And Black Feminist Thought is sort of the foundation that I do all of my work from. Um, some of the things that I am mindful of when I'm talking about the lived experiences of Black women in particular is how Patricia really provides a space for Black women to be able to share their lived experiences in spaces where their uh, Blackness their identity, their uh, gender comes to the forefront. It, it's sort of the foundation of the conversations that we have. And one of the areas within the work that she does, she talks a lot about the importance of self-definition. And self-definition is how do we see ourselves in spaces compared to how society has seen us, whether it's from a white gay perspective, meaning the majority's perspective on how black women are supposed to be or how they're supposed to rep represent themselves. You see that a lot in what I call controlling images, whether that's from a superwoman standpoint point, the ideation around the strong black woman, or even the ideation around what does it mean to be an angry black woman. Sometimes they don't necessarily call it angry. Um, but that is one of the things that she talks about in great detail around self-definition. Another thing that she talks about the importance of the black woman in their experience is love and relationship and how that's vital as well as a part of the foundation for why we do what we do. And so when we have the understanding that a lot of the things that we do is merely because of the love that we have for our partners, for our children, um, and the relationships and the covenant connection we wanna have with individuals, that is a foundational piece for the black experience in particular for women who find themselves in spaces that are dealing with adversity. Typically we're trying to find some type of connection and she talks a lot about that when we look at it from a standpoint of black feminist thought. Um, the next one that I wanna talk about a little bit is the importance of community of support. So some spaces they call that, where's my tribe, who's my tribe? Um, but within this theory, um, Patricia really has sort of nailed it down, the importance of having that community of support. And you see that a lot in um, other people who are doing the work tied to the lived experiences of Black women. Um, you also see that now. So we don't necessarily call it Black feminist thought anymore. And it's not broken down into the matriarch the matrix of domination, which is what it was initially um, broken down to, we see that when we use the word intersectionality. And so intersectionality, of course, was coined by Kimberly Cr uh, Crenshaw. However, the foundation of the work that she did and created was really rooted in Black feminist thought. And so I love Patricia uh, Hill Collins and the work that she does. It's the foundation that I do, the work that I do with working with Black women to explore what does it look like to live in this world from an equity standpoint, when we know that many spaces that we enter into are not necessarily equitable or have been developed and created for us. Um, and so Black, again, Black Feminist Thought is the foundation that I come from and someone that I think everyone should get to know. So if you don't know who Patricia Hill Collins is, um, if you don't know what Black Feminist Thought is, I just gave you three bullet points from it. I promise you it's not the, to the total uh, totality of Black Feminist Thought. It's just three points to highlight. Um, she is someone that you should know. She has amazing uh, scholarly research that's out there that supports it and uh, just brings, um, what is the word I want to use? She brings words to our experiences and she brings to the forefront our experiences so that when you're having those conversations with individuals in particular who understand the black woman's experience, there are certain things that we don't have to come into conversation to help you get an understanding of. We already know that they exist. And so that's why I chose Patricia uh, Hill Collins to highlight for um, Women's History Month. So I thank you for this opportunity and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.